What's going on guys? Minimax here and today Not today, but a few days ago I Graduated. Yeah, you heard that right. Your boy finally graduated from high school And I really enjoyed it and I hope that you will enjoy it as well I have no doubt about that because if I enjoyed it Then you guys will have to enjoy it as well Anyways, this is future Owen by the way. I'm narrating the video that passed Owen did. So you guys can see me switch from me here to me there. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, the first thing I did was get my hair. You can't see this, right? Yo, I think it's fire. First thing I did was actually to get my hair done. The day before graduation, I went to Nars Beauty Salon in Falmouth. Yeah, they have the, the good thing, them and the cheap price, them. So, yo, check them out, isn't it? Because we got the price, them, we got the style, them. For every day, for every day, read your Bible, for every day, and your grow. So after I did that, I basically was ready because I had already had clothes, I already had shoes and everything because I prepared from early because I don't want to have things to be doing the day of graduation. Anyways, fast forward to the day of graduation. I woke up, I didn't really have anything to do because I did everything the night before, ironed my shirt and everything. Oh yeah, my friend, my friend, my close friend slash birthday twin, Danique, she wanted to come to graduation, so she had to take the bus from her park. She lives like three parishes away. So she had to take the bus to come here, and then me and my mommy had to go and pick her up. Yeah, I buzzed the place, and but them, them never, them never, they, like I was buzzing. Like bzz, 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 bzz. Anybody now meds me? I'm not getting let in. So I say, she gone. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back to sleep and I care. So she come and I say, what? Look, I was just buzzing there. And you never tell the person to me a buzz. All right, okay. <laughs> Bro, I press the button and then I let me in. Okay. What's that press? Oh yeah, but she did a progression of and I didn't realize Alright, so just pick up money. So, anyways, after we pick her up, we went back home so I could get ready. Mommy wasn't ready. So, she dropped off me and Danny at Montego Bay Convention Center where we had the graduation ceremony. So, um, Mommy went back home, but me and Danny, Danny stayed there because the graduates are to be there early and I didn't want to leave Danny with Mommy because that would be weird. Right, Danny? She, she say yes here. She's not here, but she, she say yes. <laughs> Anyways, so at the graduation, no, we... A very special celebration today is our graduation. William Nip. <laughs> well, 2019 much of graduates. And I'm very excited. Today is a very special day, and I look forward to all of, what is it? All, the, all, today, all of today's activities. And I hope you all enjoy everything that happens. Steady. 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 And I'm a new weaver, so no beat sneakers. Mm -hmm. One time we.
turn her gun to get her hat. I don't remember the name of the hat. Don't penalize me, please. And we got her. But uh, I know the name of them. Just say, oh, scarf, gown, hat. We get all three of them. Now. And they were lined up based on our classes and things. Yeah. We were taking some pictures. I'll, sh I'll put a slide so I'll slide show with all the pictures at the end of the video so you, can, you all can view what happened. Yeah, so we marched in. And then we sat down and they were talking, they were talking, they were talking. But my, my mind wasn't even under graduation because I wanted a video to play when my class was coming. That's a video I did earlier. So my mind wasn't even under graduation. They had, they had different things going on. They had the valedictorian speech, the presentations by each person, the principal's report. I mean, you know, all the boring graduation stuff. I'm not going to include that here. Oh, yeah, the valedictorian speech. Yo, your girl killed it. Yo, Abby, that speech was legit fire. When I listen to it, yo, I can feel the fire burn me. The way, yo, the speech, but you delivered it perfectly. And I'm really proud of you for that. Hey, Abby. A matter of fact, I'm proud of everybody. We all did it. Congratulations. Big up on a blood clot cell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, man. I'm gonna say it. Anyways, moving past that, we reached the part where we were supposed to collect our diplomas. Collected my diploma like everybody else. subject parts. I got prizes for about six subjects or five subjects or seven, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And I got a prize for punctuality, courtesy, uh, leadership potential, some things like that and student of the year, top boy, as you can see here. <laughs>
yeah. <laughs> Overall, I was re- I was really proud because this graduation was really late for me personally. Afterwards, I was taking pictures with my f- pictures with my family, so I didn't get, really get to take out the pictures with my friends, and I really do apologize for that. But now I'm moving to the I'm moving into the section where I talk to each person. Well, I cannot thank everybody individually, but because if I did that, the video wouldn't done right. But I will thank a few then. Move into that, anyways. Yo, Anton. Anton. From the day in a grade seven, when I come on, when I come from one, when I come a grade, come a grade seven. I was like, yo, whenever I see him class, but you know, say so you didn't have some mixed classes back then. Man, man, I'm about that work. Anyways, we didn't have visual arts class, and him, him didn't know what to do, and me never know what to do. <laughs> see, I'm a good man. Hundred and thirty, I'm at it up for me, man, and him do it. I, I guess him did do it, yeah. And there's there was other people asking him to do it. And same day I say yo, him not do it. And I say yo, there's plenty more, plenty more where that angel I came from. Yeah, you see from that day to, yo, a friendship kind of built up. In grade eight we're in the same class. Grade nine we're in the same class. Grade ten we're in the same class. Grade eleven we're in the same class. And he has been my friend throughout this whole time. If I didn't have lunch money, he was there. If I got a low grade, he was there. If I was feeling down, he was there. Even in the good times, he was there. When I when I didn't get so perfect, he, he was there. He got it though, but I didn't because... <laughs> Let's not get into that. It's depressing. Anyways, what I'm basically saying is that when you find a good friend like that, you don't, you don't just drop them because... You really find them friendship there. And Anton, I thank myself thanks for every single thing we ever do from me. <laughs> from we know each other, bro. And honestly, from my heart, I really and truly love him. No homo. No homo. I have my other friend there. We're well, always poor, you know, but Anton knows different, isn't he? Anyways, big up Piggy, big up Godric, big up Big Bird, big up KJ. Big up clean. Big up your, <laughs> your fruit squad. You know, it's tough for Big up yourself, you know, bro. Uh, I don't remember everybody, you know. But I can't say everybody, you know, it's a video now, good. But teachers, Mr. Donna, you did it from grade 8, yo. Merita, 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 different this room. Yeah, real G. Miss Nugent, you always know buck from grade 10. And being in her box, have produced. Good results, as you can see by the amount of students graduating. It's the biggest class of William Lee ever. Period. <laughs> know that game. Period. Anyways, my thank Mr. Matt Kellop. Yo, him really pushed you forward in the match. Honest to God. And Mr. Walfa as well. Mrs. Matt Kellop. I'd like to personally thank you for motivating me to take up two extra subjects. I took up accounts and POB under her influence and she helped me throughout and I got a two in accounts and one in POB. What more can I really ask for? So I'm really grateful for that. Ah, oh, Missy. Thanks to Mr. Fung, Miss Houston. You, you really helped me in Spanish and Spanish is a subject that I want to continue not in school but I want to be able to fluently speak Spanish so I really do thank you for the help you have given me in Spanish I mean I have gotten the one but I did get a two and I'm very grateful for it and really I really appreciate you Kanga as I said before hold up As I was saying, me can really thank everybody because if me did do that, the video would have long. So yo, everybody just big up on yourself. If you know you help me, big up yourself. Even if me not, me not personally get to thank you. Yo, me can't lift out the G, yo! Mr. Mr. Um, Flying Dutchman, Mr. Nelson, yo. From grade 10, 
he man a push in the IT, you know, and then he left. And even after he left the school, he was still there. He man helped with the SBA come right up. Even when he was not at William, he was still a help with the SBA. And big up Miss Yap as well. He take on the t- carry the torch and continue what Mr. Nelson left off. Yeah. I'm really grateful for everything. And I would like to take this opportunity to express gratitude to William Nib itself. This school has nurtured me into a fine young man and I'm indeed grateful for that. It may have not been my school of choice, but when I came here, I knew that this was the school for me and I would not thrive the way I did if I went to any other school. You know, William Nib is my alma mater and I look forward to the day when I would be able to give back something great just like how you gave me something great yeah so let's big up on yourself and make your sledge <laughs> shit you can't believe it i like what next don't complete next day yo we make one entire video without talking about my family appearance yo i'm disappointed in myself yeah anyways I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to my father, my mother, my aunties, my uncles, my just my entire family. Thank you so much for being there as support for me. It has really pushed me this far and I know you will push me further. I want to say thank you to my father, especially. He has been supporting me from day one. And nothing I've done would have been done without having a father figure behind me. And most importantly, I'd like to thank my mother. She, yeah, Mommy Max D. <laughs> yeah, you might, some people call her that, I don't know why, but <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, I'd like to thank Mommy Max D. She is the driving force behind Max D Photography. She's the driving force behind Minnie Max D. She is the driving force behind Owen Dixon on a whole so i'd like to say thank you so much mommy i really appreciate everything you do and i'm saying this in advance i appreciate everything you will do in the future thank you so much i love you uh, can't believe i forgot that please now you can enjoy like the um they call it a slideshow